guys, thanks for stopping in. On this episode of Richard in the Kitchen, I'm going to make some cabbage. Man, it's good. Southern spicy cabbage. It's the way my dad used to do it, with a little variation. And it, it's so good. So, uh, let's go over the ingredients, and then we'll get started. And what you'll need is some green cabbage. You can use purple cabbage if you like. Going to need one cup of chicken stock, a half a stick of butter, and some bacon. Everything goes good with bacon. A finely chopped onion, some finely chopped carrots, some parsley, red pepper flakes, some uh, minced garlic, about three cloves, salt and pepper, and olive oil. Now what you want to do with your, uh, your cabbage is slice this up. You can uh, slice it any way you want to. Thin, long, any way. If, or you can even change it up like I do. I just kind of cut across ways, sort of like bite size. And what you want to do when you first cut into this, I cut it in fours, cut that core out of there, and then we'll give this a rinse before we actually get started on, on putting it in the pot to cook. And like I said, just give your cabbage a rinse. A lot of people don't do this, but you know what? You never know where that thing has been. You just rinse it real good with cold water. You get any dirt or anything that may be on that cabbage off of there. And while we're letting that rinse, let's get started on the other ingredients. While our cabbage is drained, I'm going to hit this with a little bit of extra light olive oil. Since we're going to be frying this, extra light olive oil holds up better than extra virgin. I kind of stay away from canola and vegetable because their processing is so horrible there's no telling what you're going to get in there. So let's uh, fry up our bacon. Man, I'll tell you what, bacon makes everything taste, taste better. And we're just very, got it on about medium high heat. And we'll just bring this to a light brown. We don't want to cook it all the way through just yet. We just want some of that bacon grease down there because I find the cooking cabbage and bacon grease is just absolutely, man, it's great. It is so great. All right, we'll give this a chance to brown up just a little bit and we'll start adding the other ingredients. The bacon is browned up really good. Now we're going to add our onions. We'll add our onions and our carrots and we'll just let them sweat. Now what I like to do once I put them onions in there is just add a little bit of salt because that helps them sweat better and faster. Man, oh my god. <laughs> Bacon gets such a bad rap. Maybe it's bad for you. Heck, I don't know. I read a study today that says Bacon is actually good for Alzheimer's. It's got something in it that helps them. Good for brain function. <laughs> and then I heard another story on the news today. It says cell phone radiation causes brain cancer. Oh my God. These doctors, man, they can't make up their mind. All right. Let's give these onions a chance to sweat and brown a little bit. And we'll go on to the next one. Man, it smells good in here. Onions are almost sweated. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our half a stick of butter and let that melt down and marry with the onions, the carrots, and the bacon. And then we'll start adding our cabbage. Now, the garlic, that's one of the last steps I do because you don't want your garlic to burn. It is absolutely horrible. You just want to cook it till it becomes fragrant. So that's one of the last things that I do. I also season this to taste with salt and pepper and uh, at the last and the red pepper flakes to give it that little bit of punch. And then we'll make it pretty with some parsley. All right, let's start adding our cabbage. Now cabbage cooks down quite a bit. So don't freak out and think, oh my God, he's putting a lot of cabbage in there. You may have to do this in one or two steps, but believe me, it'll cook down. 
Man, look at that. That smells so good with that bacon in there. It tastes even better. I love cabbage. A lot of people don't like cabbage. Miss E told me tonight she'll pass on this dinner because I, I take it that she don't like cabbage. All right, we'll let that uh, cook down a little bit and wilt, and then we'll add our chicken stock and the rest of the ingredients. A few minutes of being in there, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken stock. Now I use low uh, unsalted chicken stock. That way I have more control on uh, seasoning this to taste once we get it almost done. Man, it smells so good. Man. All right, our cabbage is coming along quite nicely. Look at all those pretty colors in there. It smells so good. All right, we've got it cooked down enough to where we can add our garlic and our red pepper flakes to give those flavors a chance to uh, get to know each other. Man, it smells so good. I tell you, I think, I think my cabbage, what makes it really good, if you like spicy food but not too spicy, the red pepper flakes really gives it just that little bit of bite and makes it really good. A lot of people don't use chicken stock either. They'll just use water, and that's fine. I've done that, but and you can do that. It's no big deal. I just, I just think chicken stock gives it a, a little bit better flavor to it. Okay, we'll let this go a few more minutes, and then we'll salt and pepper this thing to taste and add our parsley. Cabbage is almost done. Wilt, see there, see how it's cooked down and wilted a little bit. Okay, I've reduced my heat to a low simmer and that's how we're going to finish this off. We'll salt this, pepper this, man look at that. <laughs> God I love cabbage. I'm going to be having some cabbage. I made me some skillet cornbread that's already cooked. And I'm going to watch my cousin's in it. Y'all ever seen that play? Oh, classic. Classic. Two utes. Two utes. All right. Let's let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And give all these flavors a chance to marry. And we'll be ready to plate this up. Cabbage done. Look at that. Man, don't I look pretty. It smells so good in here. Before I get on to the rest of this, I'm going to show my cornbread. That's cast iron skillet cornbread. Man, I tell you what, there ain't nothing better. I'll see if I can show you this crust on this bottom of this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. Cabbage and cornbread. All right. Let's sprinkle this with some parsley. Make it pretty. Parsley tastes good too. Man, look at that. If that ain't pretty. And it smells so good. Check this out. Spicy onion and garlic fried cabbage. How about that? All right, let's plate this up and uh, we'll give it a taste test. Man, that looks so good. Man, man. Man, I, th I tell you what. Y'all ought to give this a try. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? That's... Smells so good. It's really hot. Let's give it a test. I like cooking, as y'all can tell. Mm. That's good. Man, give this a try. We'll tell you what, thanks for stopping in. I do appreciate it. And don't forget, until next time, be nice to everybody you come in contact with. See y'all later. Bye-bye.